All right, another thing you can do for the wedding industry, for the, for the bridal industry, is canvases. Now this is kind of a cool idea on a canvas. We're gonna show you how we did this here in a minute. This is actually just a regular standard canvas caricature that my uh, daughter had done of her and my son-in-law, along with the date and date, and my grand dog right there, that's Coda. And she got this done for about $125 for the artwork, right? And then we printed it out on this, and as you'll see in some of these pictures, what they did is actually put this out on a tripod, and they had gold, black, and silver Sharpies sitting there, and people just signed, giving them well wishes and everything all over time. It just really came out looking neat. So let's show you how we did this. All right, let, let's show you how we printed that canvas, all right? Wanna start off, this is an 18 by 24 canvas. You can buy these, I think I got this at Michael's. I got two of these. Uh, I wanna say that they were about $8 or two of them. That's about a $4 canvas. I'm gonna go here, I've already printed an outline on my bed, so I know where to position the canvas at. All right, get that flattened down. And because of the type of design this is, I'm not terribly worried about um, the exact centering as much. I'm gonna get it pretty close as possible, but it doesn't go edge to edge, so it's just gonna be kind of a free-floated design there. Push this forward until we set the height. Go ahead and load that up. And we'll give you the, the cost and the time to print this when we're finished with it. Let's show you here how we set this up in the uh, software to be able to print this out. So what I've done is I've opened up a page in my Compress Design software, which uh, comes with the Compress uh, UV printers that we sell, as well as our, our other UV printers. And I've set up to the page to be the size of the bed. So this is the size of the 1200 bed. And now I've created an outline here that represents the border of the canvas we're actually going to print, which is an 18 by 24 canvas. I put a 200th of an inch white outline on it so that I can print that over to the bed so that we actually have a target where to place the canvas. I use white here because I'm printing on a black mat. Uh, we also have mats that are black and white, white on one side, black on the other. If you're printing on the white side, just use a black outline or a color, another color that you can see nicely on the white. Go ahead and print that over to the rip itself. And what I'm going to do is I want to print it single pass. I'm just printing that white ink, only the selected objects, which is the outline. And I'm going to make sure that I'm printing to the edge of the sign blank, which, which means that it's actually going to orient to that point right there, which is really important because when I bring the next image in, I'm going to center it in this rectangle. And then I'm going to make sure that it's printing from the same relative point. So it's going to be right in the same spot on the canvas as it is when we lay it on the screen. Go ahead and send that over to the rip. It's going to bring that image in. You see the white outline there, once again, oriented just off of the uh, corner of the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna print this in fast so it doesn't take a lot of time to print. We're not really worried about the quality of the outline. It's just something that's a reference point. Go ahead and print that. While that's printing over to the printer, we're gonna jump back to our designer. What I'm gonna do is I've created a second layer here, as you can see, actually has the canvas, the artwork for the canvas on it. I'm gonna turn off the viewing of and the printing of layer one and turn on viewing of layer two. We now have the actual canvas itself, the artwork for the canvas. We're going to print this over same way we did for the outline and doing the same relative position to the origin of the printer. Send that over. The settings have remained the same so far as how we locate it. I want to jump over to the rip now and it's going to actually be bringing in the outline. I mean, the outline's already been printed. We're going to bring in the graphic to print within that outline. So I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and just rip it. That way we can determine exactly how much it costs to print. It's going to be pretty shocking here. I think as I mentioned earlier, these canvases I bought, I bought a two pack of them for $7.99 at everybody's favorite craft store, Michael's. And so I've got $4.00 into the canvas and my daughter paid, I believe it was $125 to have these caricatures done. It's actually her and my son-in-law in their their wedding attire, the exact, you know, their this is his suit and this is the dress she wore. And then of course they had to include my grand dog on there just because she's such a part of the family, put their names and the date. And then what they're, they've done is they had this set up on a canvas and they had markers sitting there uh, I think they had gold, silver, and black, so that people could sign this as a memorial of their, their wedding day. 
So you see it, 19.81 cents, less than 20 cents worth of ink and $4 for the canvas, even with tax, adding that to it. We're under $5 total production cost for the graphic onto the canvas, including the canvas itself and $125. So we've got less, I'd say about $130 total into this. My daughter actually looked into having this done. It was going to be having the caricature design and having it printed on a canvas for her and shipped to her was going to be over $500. So this is something that you could do is if you've got somebody who can do the caricatures or you can do them yourself, you can make a great, great killing on these and make $300 plus for 10 minutes worth of printing and whatever the time it takes you to set up and do the caricature. All right, we're gonna go ahead and send that over to print. Now we're gonna just let the printer do what it does. Here we go, done printing now. Take a look at this. This is pretty awesome. So as you can see here, we printed the design right in the middle. Beautiful representation, good color, and not a lot of money. And to give you a perspective, uh, my daughter got the idea for this from one of her best friends who got married about a year and a half ago. They actually had this done soup to beans by somebody who did the caricatures and printed the canvas for them. They paid over $500 for this product for them to have at their wedding. My daughter found someone online who would actually do the caricature of them, put the name and date and everything on to, for about $125, and give them the digital file so they can print it on other things if they want to. Then I used $4 canvas, 12 and a half cents worth of ink, saved a little bit of money by doing it, and it's something we can replicate and put on other things if we want to from then. So, it's a great opportunity for you to make good money, obviously. If somebody brings you this, hook up with somebody who can do caricatures for them. And you could be selling these for $300, $400, $500, obviously, as a market on them, and make hundreds and hundreds of dollars in just a matter of a few minutes on the printer and computer time. So just a great way that you can take one of the, the cold SE UV printers and attack a whole different marketplace in the wedding marketplace with all kinds of things that brides want to spend money on. And trust me, having just gone through this, there's a lot of things they want to spend money on. I'm Don Copeland with the Compress UV printers with the cold SE UVs. Thank you.